Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your 2016 Year Ahead Astrology Forecast. This is a year of internal growth, new beginnings. You are releasing those aspects of self that no longer serve you. Your duties and responsibilities this year can increase, but so is your opportunity for success. So you will feel some pressure at times that you have a lot going on, a lot of responsibility, but your accomplishments can also be great this year. You just finished a 14-year cycle where your attention was focused on the world, what you do in the world, relationships, social life, work life, and now the attention is being asked to go inside, go on to deeper levels with you, more internal. So it's time to turn your attention inward and you are restructuring yourself on the deepest of levels. So on very deep levels you are restructuring yourself. It's as if there's a, say we would say a mansion on the inner level of you and this mansion is going through reconstruction so you're taking out the driveway and you're putting in a new driveway you're taking down walls and you're adding on a new addition or you may be adding on a sunroom this is going on internally with you and when you're going through massive growth like this on a deep level on an inner level it's not essential for you to have a big social life or have you know so much of your attention focused on career and getting ahead in career doesn't mean you can't have those things but that's not where the energy is the energy is going on inside of you the action is inside the action is on deeper levels that's changing you to the core of your being and you are setting the foundation for the next 30 years so this is really important and there's no hurry with it you don't want to hurry this process because it's going to take the next 14 years to restructure you so in 2016 and 2017 it's about who you are not who you've been, not who other people want you to be, but you're redefining who you are today. And that definition of who you are needs to be based on your truth, your soul, who you really are. And that's where the focus is going to be, is living your life based on your own terms not on other people's terms living your life based on what's right for you what's true for you based on who you are now who you are becoming in this exciting year of 2016 the more you go deeper into self the more successful you will be this year and next year this is about self encounter having an encounter with yourself discovering who you are discovering what works for you what you want what you need what have you learned about yourself this last 14 years up until now this is the time to reflect on that reflect what you've learned about yourself all of these years so that you can understand why we have to go through a restructuring so that our life is more reflective of who you are today and that's changing and it's exciting so having elaborate external commitments or requirements will not serve you now because the energy is being focused on the inner life the inner you and you are redefining who you are today now Mars is going to retrograde in uh, 2016 and that's not unusual because Mars retrogrades every two years last year it was Venus and she's direct all year so she'll be moving through your astrology in 2016 blessing you bringing you abundance bringing you opportunity or new relationship 
are blessing your existing relationship and so Venus is moving forward in fact she starts out in Sagittarius in January and you know so so you start out with with beautiful Venus in your sign which is awesome and wonderful and she's blessing you as you go into the new year Mars is going to retrograde in Scorpio he starts out he makes it to Sagittarius to about nine degrees and then he moves back into Scorpio and that happens so he retrogrades April 17th through June 29th and like I said he starts out at nine degrees Scorpio I mean Sagittarius and then he re-enters Scorpio on May 28th and then he's back in Sagittarius on August 2nd so he's going to spend a lot of time in Scorpio in 2016 he will be in Scorpio for over 18 weeks or 131 days now for you Scorpio is 12 signs from you so he's going to be in that area where the universe is saying go deeper within self activities that take you deep into your intuitive nature bear fruit be still and hear your inner voice this can heal you consciously enter your dreams reimagine and rebirth yourself as a healthy whole person so with Mars in this area of your life it is about meditation it's about resting and restoring your batteries it's about recharging yourself it's not about taking action you don't want to take action when the planet of action is asleep when a planet goes retrograde it's like they go asleep good night and so you don't want to be pushing yourself out there starting a new business starting a new project with the planet of action passion and desire in reverse so the universe is saying again for you this is a time to go deeper within self this is a time to heal yourself this is a time to focus on your dreams focus on your meditations hear your inner voice go out into nature spend a lot of time in nature now your ruling planet Jupiter is working for you and Jupiter is in that area of your life that has to do with your reputation in the world your profession in the world your destiny in the world and because Jupiter is there as well as the transiting north node in Virgo and the eclipses are happening there for you doors are going to continue to open for you in the area of what you do in the world whether it's your career or your work or a business you own Jupiter is working to expand you there and that's fine as long as you don't focus so much there that you're ignoring what's happening on the inside with you because if you do it can come out as health issues or just being overwhelmed or feeling emotionally overwhelmed or feeling exhausted if that's happening that's the universe saying Sagittarius you're doing too much in the world that's not where you need to focus so balance will be really important for you over the next couple of years of doing that you know a high wire act and balancing work and personal life or I would say your personal well-being and then work so life work balance not work life balance life work for you is really important and so Jupiter is you know like I said really supporting you here in uh, 2016 and that'll continue in 2017 because Jupiter enters Libra on September 9th and Libra sextiles Sagittarius Libra pours positive energy into any planets you have in Sagittarius and Libra rules the money you make from the business you own or the money you make from the company you work for and your hopes and wishes sudden opportunities sudden breakthroughs so Jupiter is still expanding your work life your prosperity through work 
over these next two years until Jupiter jumps into Scorpio in uh, October 2017. And so in Virgo and Libra, it is bringing you opportunity and prosperity that will continue and is totally working for you. And Pluto in that area of your wealth and your earning ability is going to be forming a, a harmonious energy flow, a trine, with Jupiter. And that is on exact March 16th and June 26th. But I see that trine hanging about all year till really end of July. So Jupiter and Pluto are going to be in this fabulous harmonious energy flow for you know, the first seven months of 2016. That's prosperity. That's opportunity. That can be promotion. That can be where you're really drilling down into your talents, your gifts, your abilities. And you're able to use them to get a promotion, to grow your business. And you want to do these things without it being at the cost of your well-being, your energy, because there's a lot going on on the inside that you can't see. When you're being reconstructed on deeper levels, and this is the work that Saturn is doing with you in your sign, you, you can't see that. And so it, that's why you, you, you want to pay attention to what's going on with you inside, internally, your inner being. How are you feeling every day? How is your inner being feeling about life? And by doing that, then you are creating that life-work balance so that you're not just focused on achieving in the world, making more money. Not that you can't want those things, but those aren't the priority they don't negate the important work that Saturn's doing in Sagittarius, setting the foundation for the next 30 years of your life. So you don't want the next 30 years to be that of a workaholic or some exhausted workaholic because you're too focused on the external or you're in codependent relationship or just addicted to relationships and you're just focusing so much on relationship that it's costing your own internal growth, it's costing your own, the, the construction going on is not going well and the walls aren't going up well and the driveway isn't going in well because you're just so focused on the external. So the real work is going on in the inner and yes you can have relationship and you can have you know growth in the career they're not the priority. And so the priority is with you and how you're taking care of you and how you're spiritually evolving, emotionally evolving, how you're creating that life-work balance. And, you know, uh, Jupiter is absolutely, you know, really helping you to improve what you do in the world, improve your work in the world. In Virgo, it does challenge the Sagittarius. So it's very easy to overpromise, overcommit, overthink that you can do something and then you realize you don't have the energy for it. And so be aware of that. Don't overpromise this year. Don't overcommit yourself. Less is more. Work less, make more time for you. Work less, make more life for you. Work less, make more love for you. So be aware that when Jupiter is in Virgo this year, there can be that tendency for overdoing it, over committing yourself, and then you realize you don't have the energy, and then that can, you know, come back to haunt you. So you don't want uh, to do that. Now, the eclipses are running in Pisces and Virgo this year. There's one last penumbral or uh, partial lunar eclipse in Libra at three degrees. And, and uh, you know, so, so that, that's the last one. There's a total solar eclipse in Pisces. It's the only total eclipse on March 8th. That's going to be a really big one. And... 
then there's the last Libra on the 23rd partial and then there's a solar eclipse in Virgo on September 1st and then a lunar eclipse in Pisces on September 6th. Pisces rules your foundation, Virgo rules what you do in the world. So the eclipses are running back and forth in this area. Now Saturn is in Sagittarius in the area of you and it's forming a powerful T-square with Neptune and Jupiter in this area. So this is where you, like I'm saying, I was picking up earlier, is that you want to really be aware of where you're overdoing things or where you're overpromising, where you're overcommitting, because it's going to be um, a concern for you in 2016 because of this energy. And it starts, it's on, let's see, okay, so they're kind of hanging around. Uh, they, they went exact in November 2015 when the sun went into Sagittarius and we had the full moon in Gemini in November. Saturn and Neptune were uh, exactly squaring each other. So you'll know what I'm talking about by what you experienced late November into December 2015. In 2016, they go exact again June 17th and September 10th. And they're on here in May at the Sagittarius full moon. So the Sagittarius full moon is on May 21st, 2016. And the full moon is in Sagittarius. The moon is at one degree. It's right at the beginning of Sagittarius. And it's sitting right next to Mars. And so you know, the moon itself, the full moon in Sagittarius is fine. You know, it, it's not being aspected uh, by Saturn. Saturn's at 14 degrees. But what's happening is Jupiter is up to 13 degrees Virgo. Neptune is at 12 degrees Pisces and Saturn's at 14 degrees. So Jupiter is creating this powerful T-square at the time of your full moon in May and this continues again in June and then it continues again in September. Well, May-June time period is Gemini. September time period is Virgo. So that brings the action and the energy to the mutable signs this year and next year until the nodes move into Leo Aquarius and the eclipses start happening in Leo and Aquarius. So the mutable signs are where the action is over the next couple of years. So you're a major player here in 2016 and 2017 because you're Sagittarius and so you're being pulled into this with that Saturn. Now many of you have already gone through the Saturn aspect conjuncting coupling with your Sun or Moon and those of you born 11 days into Sagittarius and three weeks into Sagittarius will be working with Saturn this year. Those of you born eight days into Sagittarius up until 12 days Sagittarius will be working with Neptune. Now with Saturn, it's limitation, restriction, delays, it, it, you have less energy, the same with Neptune. Although with Neptune, it, it, it take, both of these energies take the energy from the sun and that's where you get your energy. So, this, so you have less energy to work with. That's why you don't want an elaborate social life or work life because you need your energy for what's going on inside of you. If you're working with Neptune and Neptune is challenging you, you can feel really confused about your life direction. You can be feeling confused about where you're going and how you're going about it. And it's temporary. This is a transit. But for those of you born eight days into Sagittarius or 12 days into Sagittarius, and remember Sagittarius starts in November, so you start from the day the sun enters into Sagittarius out to 12 days. Those are the Sagis that are most affected by Neptune this year. And here's how you know if you're being affected by Neptune. You're tired, 
you're confused, you go and you try to do things, they don't work, you go and you get a new job, it's worse than the last job, it's like the universe is saying, if you did nothing, you would advance, you would have more. <laughs> so as, as humans, we have a hard time not doing anything. We think we always need to take action, and we always need to be working. Well, with Neptune, none of that's going to get you anywhere. And so what Neptune is doing is raising your vibration. Neptune is raising your vibration and so you're in the world but you're not of it and so when you're raising your vibration you're with creator and when you're with creator it's not about the things of the world it's not about relationships it's not about making more money or being you know fame and fortune it's about your spiritual life it's about merging with your inner being merging with your soul self and it's about going inward it's about going into that dream space and so if you find yourself tired and things aren't going the way you want them to, let go and listen. It's, it's really important to listen. Listen to your inner being. Listen to nature. Listen to creator talking to you. And it's just a transit. It's not permanent. And so, you know, be aware of that. Now, many of you have already gone through it, so you know what I'm talking about. And many of you won't go through it for years from now. Because Neptune moves so slowly, he's only moving about 4 degrees in 2016. So, you know, planets, signs run from 0 to 30 degrees. So, for those of you at the end of Sagittarius, or say 20 degrees out, it's going to be years before you are working with Neptune. And, and, you know, Saturn moves a lot faster. Like Saturn is moving from, you know, 11 to 21 degrees this year. And next year, in December 21st, 2017, he goes into Capricorn. So he moves a lot faster. He's a whole different energy. Neptune and Saturn don't like each other. And I talk a lot about that in the November forecast. Because Saturn's about structure and duties and responsibilities and getting things done and knowing your limits and knowing your boundaries. And Neptune's like, hey, no boundaries. What do you need boundaries for? You know, and fantasy's great. You know, and so, so when they come squaring like this with each other, challenging each other, it's like trying to mix water and oil. It does mix. So they're showing up here this year, like I said, in June, late May, September. And so we all have to deal with these energies, and especially you, because you're involved in it. So the mutable signs are the major players over the next couple of years. It used to be the cardinal signs, the Libras, the Aries, the Cancers, the Capricorns. But the action has gone into the mutable signs now. And so the mutable signs, the Sagittarians, the Geminis, the Virgos, and the Pisces, that's where the energy is, is happening this year. Doesn't mean there isn't some Pluto-Uranus stuff going on. There's a little bit of that, um, but not like it was. They're really separating out this year, and this time it's about, for you, for some of you, you're moving, or you've already moved, you're really looking at what you do in the world and if you still want to continue doing what you've been doing, is it time to change what you do? Is it time to change how you're doing it? Do you need to change your habit patterns? Do you need to change how you work? Do you, what needs to change? And now, there's still good things happening for you, okay? Because eclipses are major beginnings and endings and so new doors are opening for you because well Jupiter's working for you Pluto's working for you and these eclipses will open doors they will end relationships or situations that no longer serve your soul evolution not the ego evolution <laughs> you know our egos are like I want what I want I want what I want and you know but the universe doesn't care about that the universe wants to get you home to your mighty I am presence, to your soul self. And so the universe will end a relationship or a situation or a living location to get you to the next place. And every time you move, you raise your vibration because moving raises your vibration. So every time you change jobs or get out of a negative relationship or entanglement or some sort of karmic relationship and you move on, that raises your vibration. And so that is the overall 
um, goal is to raise your vibration so you're living your best life you're living authentically and don't be in a hurry for you know the future if you don't like where you are right now wanting to be out in the future isn't going to change anything and then you have to come back and live your now because you weren't here so be here now take it one day at a time and really do your meditations every day take time shut the electronics off tell shut the television off get away from the computer and just sit and be quiet and listen listen to what you're hearing listen to your inner being listen to your inner child what does she need from you what does he need from you that's where you want to be that's where you want to be focused not on what's going on out there now Uranus is still working for you too because Uranus is in Aries your sister sign and in fact something amazing is about to happen Saturn is going to catch up to Uranus by December and they're going to form a fabulous harmonious trine and that is amazing that's going to be some sort of breakthrough for you and that starts in December and then it's on again most of all of 2017 because they go exact May and November of 2017 so there's something happening here and this is about making changes in your life but in a creative way and in a gentle way when Saturn and Uranus is trying it's about creative revolution, like creatively evolving your life, revolutionizing your life, but it's in a calm way, it's in a gentle way. It's in a way where you're making changes, but they're graceful changes, or any changes you're making, like you really want it, you're like, yeah, I want to move, or yeah, I really like this new job. I, I love what I'm doing, it's creative, it's exciting, but it's not overwhelming. I like who I'm working with or this could be the start of a new romantic relationship too because Uranus is in the area of true love and romance creative self-expression self-confidence so the more you do that inner work with Saturn especially those of you who are dancing with him 11 degrees through 21 degrees or 11 days in through 21 days in you are dancing with Saturn but if you do the work you get the reward because Uranus is in harmonious energy flow with Saturn and Uranus is in harmonious energy flow with any planets you have in Sagittarius and so that can create you know opportunities that you didn't even know could come your way because you did the inner work because you strengthened your inner being your health your well-being your vitality you're taking good care of you you're making that your priority not other people, not the world, not what you're doing in the world, but you, your inner being, who you really are, and your connection to source. Because you're doing <clears throat> that work, later in the year, there's all kinds of opportunities coming in here for you. From October to the end of the year, travel with friends is something that you could be doing, and very favorable. You are giving birth to the new you. And this is exciting. This is new doors opening for you and new opportunities opening for you. There's going to be four Mercury retrogrades in 2016, and that's unusual. Typically, there's three, but this year there's four, and two of them are in Capricorn. The first one starts January 5th through January 26th of 2016. And then there's one in Taurus, April 28th through May 22nd. And then there's one in uh, Virgo, August 30th through September 21st. And then the last one is in Capricorn again, December 19th through January 8th. And I'll go into detail with these, more into detail with these, as we go into the monthlies. This is a general forecast a general forecast for all Sagittarians for the entire year. Now, I think it's interesting that it's in Capricorn. So, so twice in Capricorn is about you re-evaluating how you're using your resources. How are you using your talents, gifts, and abilities to create wealth for yourself, to create financial security for yourself, to increase your self-worth, self-respect, self-appreciation. You're going to have two opportunities next year to evaluate that, how you can uh, perhaps change some habit patterns so that you're having more energy, more time for yourself, more of what you want. And it can be very subtle. 
Also, in Taurus, that's about looking at how you work, your work habits. So there could be some sort of change coming for you in May that has to do with changing how you work because of um, the Mercury retrogrades, but also because of this powerful Jupiter opposing Neptune squaring Saturn starting in May, and then it goes on you know, throughout the year, and then, you know, Jupiter's going to oppose Uranus. That's quite exciting when it gets to Libra. That can be the start of some sort of new relationship for you, or some sort of exciting breakthrough for you in regards to your goals and your hopes and wishes, and that starts um, at the end of the year, and then it happens again in March and September of 2017. So that's really exciting too, but Jupiter is getting involved with this Saturn-Neptune business. <sighs> and that means he, he expands whatever he touches, so he's going to make Neptune even more challenging to have clarity, and, and Saturn even more uh, heavy in his duties and responsibilities. And so um, it's really important that you're taking really good care of yourself, especially as you go into the new year. You want to keep the focus on your um, health, well-being, vitality, what you need, your inner being, your emotional life, and then focus on um, what the world is requiring of you, what work and other people are requiring of you. But it is going to be a balancing act for you. But there's a lot of good things happening too, you know, is uh, there's a lot of creative opportunity here for you and a lot of opportunity with new doors opening. So for those of you looking for love, it is on this year for you. It's on all year and it's going to continue and friends can turn into lovers and lovers can turn into friends, um, it's, it can be a social time for you, but again, you want to make sure life relationship balance. Don't put other people first. For those of you already coupled, you know, I'm not seeing any challenge. I'm seeing more of um, wanting more passion or excitement in the relationship. You know, there, there can be you know, and you'll know it as we get into the months and those times I, I mentioned, especially at your Gemini full moon and June and September, you know, do you need to make changes with who you're living with? And do you need, do you need to move? You know, are there any water problems with the house you're in or the place you're living in? That's something to consider. Career looks really good. Work looks really good. Money looks good. Money looks really good for you this year. Health, health will be good if you're putting yourself first. If you're doing what's right for you and allowing the internal work that's going on to have the energy it needs to, to set that foundation for the next 30 years. Spiritually, it is a time where you are growing and especially during that Mars retrograde time, if you can you know, spend time in nature, if you can spend quiet time, time meditating, you will find that that helps you so much with clarity, with your life direction, with your life purpose, and why you're really here at this time of changing of the ages and what it's all about for you. So thank you for listening. Thank you for liking, favoring, sharing, and Google Plus in my podcast, Sagittarius. You're so awesome. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you would like for me to take a detailed look at your astrology in 2016 or 2017, well, I do both. I take it out two years. It's very easy. The link is below in my show more section. You go to my astrology service page. You purchase your section. Upon checkout, you get the link to my schedule. And we're doing your astrology. Or if you're interested in coaching, it's very easy. The link is below in the show more section. You go to my coaching page, you purchase a session. Upon checkout, you get the link to my schedule. And we're coaching you. So until next time, Sagittarius, take good care of you and believe. Believe in the magic 
of your mighty I Am Presence. Believe in the magic of your inner being. Believe. I hope your days stay easy and your moments pass slow and each road leads you where you want to go and if you're faced with the choice and you have to choose I hope you choose the one that means the most to you and if one door opens to another door closed I hope you keep on walking until you find the window if it's cold outside, show the world the warmth of your smile. But more than anything, yeah, more than anything, my wish for you is that this life becomes all that you want it to. Your dreams stay big, your worries stay small. You never need to carry more than you can hold. And when you're out there getting where you're getting to, I hope you know somebody loves you and wants the same things too. Yeah, this is my wish.